So one of the building blocks of your website's ranking is good structure. And a big part of the, that structure are your cluster articles that contribute towards adding value to your main page. And one of the ways it attributes value is by being associated with the pages. Now, obviously you're gonna have links from your cluster articles to your main article that you're trying to rank. But the cluster articles themselves are also going to rank and the value is not only passed from cluster articles to your uh, page that you want to rank but also from the page that you want to rank to back to your cluster articles so obviously those are going to rank as well but if you do cluster articles incorrectly it will not pass that relevance to your to the page that you're trying to rank they might not even rank each other and they might even fail to rank because they're not relevant to how to the pages that they're connected to. So relevance is one of the most important parts of creating cluster articles, which 90% of websites I audit, I see they get wrong. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do your cluster articles correctly, how to find what articles to cluster and cluster them correctly using artificial, artificial intelligence, which makes it a lot easier. So in the past, I would do this manually, but now with artificial intelligence, with ChatGPT 3.5, I'm not gonna use a paid version, I'm gonna use a free version. You're going to see just how easy it is to do. Also, if you like the video, like and subscribe. I offer SEO services. I also offer SEO consultation services. There's a link in the description to get in touch with me. I also have a blog. The link to my blog is also in my, it is also in the description if you want to buy my service. Uh, my uh, service link is in the description, cloudseodubai.com. So let's jump right into this. Okay, what uh, cluster articles are. So primarily I have a, a tutorial on what cluster articles are. One of my previous videos, I'll quickly go over what I'm going to talk about here so this is your main page and what you're trying to do is you're trying to rank this page cluster articles are articles that link to this page that would help pass relevance and or create relevance to the page over here now when people get this wrong these articles for instance a B and C are often not related to this page over here. And so when the pages are not related in the sense they're not semantically related, the end result is that this page over here does not rank. And so the important part here is to make sure that these articles, B and C, B and A, and also related to the main article that you're trying to rank or the main page you're trying to rank is relevant and usually that would take a great deal of research not just keyword research which i've already covered in the previous video but topical research to find out what topics relate to this topic over here so that you can cover that so in this instance we have a tree lopping company so tree oh, excuse my writing i'll just leave it at that so we have a tree lopping service page that we're trying to rank. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out topics, cluster topics that we can link to and link to each other to for the to tree lopping page. Um, so one of the first things people do is they try to find uh, topics that are related to the city. So if this is Indiana, which I'm trying to do is Indiana, uh, they're trying to they're trying to create these pages that are also for the same city but that doesn't really work as well what i found is that if you create page, if you create pages that are related to tree lopping very precisely located but are informational you can rank not only for tree lopping but for maybe 10 keywords each on every one of these pages if it's done right now many seos don't really care about if if these pages are ranking but i care about it because real traffic to these pages juices them up and so you can even connect with a virtual site what i usually do is i connect each one of these pages to each other and i talk, talked about the reverse silo in my previous video so that they're passing link juice to each other they're giving they're passing relevancy to each other and they're also passing relevancy to the home page so how do i do that well can you suggest cluster articles for the page I'm trying to rank. The page is Tree Lopping Service Indiana. And so the suggestion it makes here is it's, it's giving me tree lopping and tree pruning 
which is best for your trees. Now you can go ahead and edit this based on your keyword research, which I covered in a previous video. It also goes into importance of pre-lopping and you can create all of these articles. There's another prompt that I use and you could try that. I was just going to go ahead and copy tree lopping service Indiana over here. Um, and I'm going to show you what prompt I do. I do, can you help suggest articles related to tree lopping and their word count. And so this will give me a, a separate set of ideas that I can use and also suggest word count. Now you can also prompt over here, you could also ask for suggestions in terms of number of words, uh, but I didn't, but you can do it over here. So, it's, so since these are cluster articles, a lot of these are gonna be 1,000, 1,200, 2,000 words um, because they're gonna rank your service page. Um, the other prompt that I also, and you can see that these are totally different. So the recommendations here are already different. And so all of these are high, highly relevant, but there's one more prompt I'm gonna show you, which of these are highly relevant to tree lopping service page in Indiana. And so what this does is I, did, I don't wanna write 10 articles. I wanna write four or five articles and it, I want it to be laser focused. And so the benefits of the benefits of tree lopping for your landscape, understanding the tree lopping process. And so these are articles that I want to rank for. Now, the other key thing here, and something most people don't talk about, is the anchor text. Now, if you go into this article over here and you just really nearly, you know, just use tree lopping and you, you know, just link use tree lopping, tree lopping, tree lopping. So to that five pages with tree lopping. So if you just use tree lopping as an anchor text, um, the problem you're gonna have is you're gonna be over optimizing for tree lopping. And so a lot of the other keywords that you could potentially rank for, you will not rank for. And so uh, also you're, you're gonna be spamming in the eyes of them. Chat GPT, and I go and ask it, um, can you suggest anchor text and links and how to link these pages together. And so usually what the suggestions it provides, I will usually go into it and I will see if the suggestions are something that I can work with and I'll go and I'll show you what I do over here. Um, it's telling me, so anchor text should be how to learn how tree lopping can transform your landscape. I wouldn't probably use this anchor text. Um, I'll shorten it a little bit and learn how tree lopping can improve your landscape or you know just change it to something else um, this will be a link to your main page it suggests so, so this would link to uh, one of the landscaping pages that suggests perhaps over here but if it doesn't I'll just change the, the anchor text and so to link to the main page so this will be tree lopping service Indiana tree lopping service Indiana tree lopping service Indiana so this is a suggestion that I'm not going to take and what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to ask ChatGPT to help me out over here. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to, I'm going to cover this bit later on. So I'm going to hear it. Can you give me anchor text variations of tree lopping Indiana? Now, I just want two links with the anchor text uh, tree lopping Indiana. And for the rest, I will use this as my anchor text. So, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into SEMrush to find what kind of... Um, keyword volume these have so that before I use it as an anchor text, I want to know that there is some keyword volume to this and I'm passing some kind of link to you. We're just going to paste this in one by one just to see what kind of search volume and what kind of metrics these have. So Expert Tree Lopping Service Indiana has nothing. There's no data on this. Let's try the other one. Now, I want to use an anchor text that at least has some data. So we're passing on something and there's some link use that passes on. And usually what ChatGPT does is it's, you know, it's just gives us suggestions based on its algorithm, which varies those keywords. And so you don't see, you don't see a lot of, uh, you know, it's, it's not data that's pulled through Google. And so I'm just going to quickly run through the list. And then when I come across something that has volume, I will show you guys and just pause the video over here real quick. So that I can. All right, so none of these have any search volume. I just put this through, which is highly unusual. So in this case, I'm just going to take the shortest ones here. So get quality tree lopping in Indiana. 
experienced tree lopping service in Indiana and affordable tree lopping in Indiana. These are the key phrases that I'm going to settle for. And what I'm going to ask ChatGPT to do here is I'm going to ask ChatGPT to give me an outline for each one of these articles so that I, my writer can start writing them. Over here it says implement these links. You can do the following and it just goes over how these should be included. Typically, the way you should do these links is that the link that goes to your homepage. So the way you should do this link, these links is that the the ones that you go to that go to the homepage should be in the header of your cluster articles. So it should be in the header of your cluster of articles. So the link over here that goes to the homepage is all these should be header links. And the one up the ones at the bottom that you put with the last, maybe the last paragraph should go to your uh, the related cluster page. So I'll put C here for cluster. And you need to do this correctly and you will see how this passes link is. Now there's a lot more research that goes into it. One of the last things I usually do before I pass these on to the writer is I ask ChatGPT to give me an outline. And outlines for these what GPT does is the structure is okay, but we you probably need to run through it because it's also very generic in some cases. So it gives us, it's, you know, this is a very generic structure, but it gives us something to work of. And I'll usually pass this on to my writer who would handle a lot of this and he would you know, just weed out stuff that is not needed. 80%, uh, 90% of the content is hand handwritten and I don't really even use AI generated content. It just doesn't work as well. In my experience and in the long term you're going to have problems with it so that's just something to keep in mind hope you one last power tip before i go uh you can have as many cluster articles as you need to uh the minimum is at having four or five cluster articles but you can have six or seven or eight or even up to a dozen articles it does not matter it just has to be highly highly relevant to your to the page that you're trying to target and broadly relevant to your website. If that's not the case, you'll have a problem ranking your money page and you also have a problem ranking those cluster articles with the keywords that you're trying to target. So I hope you learned something today. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.